Hello awesome people, what is going on? It is Brad Fusion here and welcome back to more Space Engineers Ascension. So in the last episode we had revived Kino from the dead and finished the construction on one of the larger thrusters on the back of the Phoenix. Now this here should give us a lot more speed than what we had previously because I admit previously we were extremely slow and I know that was getting to a lot of people that we just really couldn't really move around at all. So now that we have these thrusters here, we should, or at least one of them, we should pick up uh, decent enough speeds uh, with the addition of having a mod that allows us to increase our maximum speed past 104 meters a second, going up to around about 300 I think. So today is going to be mostly focused on exploration. And to be honest, this whole series is going to be mostly focused on exploration. So compared to a few of my previous series, this probably isn't going to have too much content. I, I mean, I want to build and obviously do a lot of things like that. But all in all, I don't really think that there is going to be too much to see. Uh, I mean, I'm not expanding a base primarily. That's my secondary function. Primarily, I want to see what's out here. To see the ships that people have created. To see the Stargate uh, structures as well, if I, if I ever come across any more of them. Uh, which would be lovely, by the way. So I'm going to just quickly start accelerating here. You guys can see the speed. Uh, down the bottom of my screen and actually actually before I do that I do want to point out that I have taken the advice that someone suggested and I have put uh, Kino Kino mark 2 back over by the base here that way it keeps him out of the road of the portal and just it keeps him safe until I need him that way even if something does happen on the Phoenix and I have to spawn back here I at least have Kino to fly around with so I can go out and maybe even try to get it back all I have to do is build a seat on the back of Kino and we are good to travel. So anyway, yeah, Kino's gonna stay here for now because Kino's so cute, and I want him to be safe um, whilst we are exploring the galaxy. Now, the other thruster needs around right about I think another 1,470, one, no, 1,430 I think uh, superchargers. Right now we have around about 400, so we do need to uh, wait a little while before we can actually get that second thruster up and running. But we do have a lot, uh, a lot of speed now, which is great. Uh, I did notice that the Stargate is now tele teleporting me to right about here-ish or so, I think. Let's quickly test it out now. Uh, it's getting a little bit further away than normal. Uh, for a lot of people, I, I, I've been getting comments uh, for a lot of people saying why the gate is doing what it's doing and teleporting me back here. Uh, some people saying it's because of the splash effect that the Stargates have in the TV show, and I have to say that there is no splash effect in this game. Or even in this mod, I should say. I know it's in the TV show, I've been watching the TV show a lot lately. But it's not built into the mod. Right now the mod is just simply a teleportation script. It doesn't have anything other than that built into it. Uh, so, sorry for... If it was misleading anyone, I guess I should say. Anyway, you can see right now we are easily picking up a lot of speed. Hopefully we're going to come across some sort of uh, beacon. Maybe uh, antenna of something. I don't know if the other ships that you can find across the world here are powered. I would like them to be powered, but I don't know if they are or are not powered. So anyway, we've got a decent amount of speed here. I'm not going to go too fast because I want to still explore the world. I don't want to completely miss everything as we fly past it at high speeds here. Because uh, everything will be going past uh, very, very fast. At least we are going almost double the normal speed that we were flying at previously. See, it is nice. This is very peaceful. I do like this. But I, I will say as I'm going through here, because this series will probably have me talking a lot as I am, again, just exploring the galaxy. I've been starting to watch Stargate all over again, right from the beginning. So I watched the first movie the other day, and I've now just finished the first season of SG-1, which is great, by the way, because it's allowed me to just get back the knowledge that I'd lost of the series and just to catch back up, because I never really watched the series completely. It was always one of those shows that you see in the background, but you never actually really just watch the whole thing of. I just saw a few episodes here and there. So it is nice to be able to watch the whole show again and just get all that relevant information that I hadn't had in the past. But, um... Yeah, anyway, this this Stargate here, whilst we are still catching up to what we haven't seen yet, I believe it's because it's on a ship, and the fact that the further away we seem to be getting from our point of origin, which is the Primius Portus, or what is that? A mining carriage? Uh, it's got guns on it, we're not really going to worry about that, we don't really have much armaments yet. I will like to add a few turrets to, this, to the Phoenix so we can take out the enemy's turrets before they can take out ours, like having the ex extended range and whatnot. Anyway, uh, what I'm thinking is that we're getting away from the point of origin, which is Primetus Portus, and the further away we get, the further away this gate seems to send us out. So, originally it was around about here, well, uh, sorry, originally it was around about here when we first started moving the gate, uh, then, it, then it eventually got out here, and then the last episode it was here-ish, and now it seems to be a little bit further here. So it seems like the further away we move, the further away it decides to teleport me out, and that, that might be an issue later on in the series, if I'm going to be heading 
in one direction completely, and there's the mining carriage kind of right over there. So I still haven't really seen much. It's hard to say. I could use the spectator cam, but I don't really want to do that because that'll be kind of cheaty, I feel. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this third person camera to have a look around, see if I can see anything of interest. I do see a few specks up there, but they most likely are just asteroids as it tends to be. And again, I don't know if these other ships here, if they have any satellite or any, not satellite, sorry, any signature I can track, whether it be antenna or beacon, or even if they, I mean, they might do, but they might not be powered. That's my curiosity thing. I'm hoping they're going to spawn much like those do, the uh, the mi mining carriage, sorry, I, I couldn't read it for a brief moment there. Uh, just, I hate how it does that, the antenna overwrites the name of it, and I really dislike that. But I, I, I'm hoping that they're going to spawn something similar to that, where you can actually see their name tag and such. Maybe some of them don't have it, maybe some of them do, I hope the ones that do have it are actually going to be visible in some way to, to us as we fly near it. Now we are coming up to another cluster of asteroids here, so hopefully there might be something of interest. We might slow down just to kind of check out what we have here. Maybe if there's any resources we haven't collected yet, we can collect them and then bring them back with us. Uh, like we have been doing lately. So I do I do like every now and then stopping off at it, like a sector like this. Just having a, a little bit of exploration around, because there's, there's a ton of stuff here. There's a ton of asteroids here. And flying towards these will all take a lot of time. And now that we actually have the higher speeds on the Phoenix, it might be considerable. However, if there is any dangers, I'd much rather just lose the Kara instead of the Phoenix as well. So I'm going to slow down here. This will take its time to slow down. Not very long, but it should be enough here. And we have a few asteroids within range of us. But there are a few distant things I want to check out as well. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. And thank you for everyone who has supported the series so far as well. I do want to quickly point that out as I'm coming to a stop here. And I noticed I've been commentating a lot over the side of this episode, and hopefully we'll get to a few fast-forwarding sections, but I've, I have been getting into commentary a little bit more lately, and I admit I've been slacking off on the videos the past few days because I have been a little bit busy, and the fact that the game hasn't been running completely well for me has been not so much disappointing, but I haven't been... Uh, what should, how should I put it? I've been extremely cautious, I guess you should say, because this world... Basically, every mistake I make, I save and continue on. The only thing I have retracted back on has been the Kino, and that's because that wasn't something I could really control. And I don't really want the game to break any more than what it, it seems to have already been broken. So anyway, I'm going to fast forward as I explore around here. If, they, if I come across something interesting, or if I feel like talking about something interesting, I will stop fast forwarding, or maybe even do it over the fast forwarding segment. I've been trying them a bit lately, where I'll fast forward like I'm doing right now, and I'll just talk over it, uh, because that, I don't know, that, that I find that kind of cool, I guess. Anyway, I'm going to resume now fast forwarding, you guys can hear the music in the background, and I will see you guys in a second.
So, after my quick journey around this sector here, I couldn't really find anything of much interest. A few oddly shaped asteroids here and there, but uh, nothing entirely too special. I don't really feel like mining too much as it is stuff that we seem to have quite a lot of anyways. The only thing I think we might be slightly lacking, and I can quickly go check this uh, in a second here, is I think maybe iron, but even so, I think we still have quite a fair amount of it. We did stop the projection on the... No, the superchargers are still going. I thought they had stopped briefly, but it is just waiting on the platinum, which again is taking its time. Now, we do have the refinery set up specifically for the platinum, as it is uh, very time-consuming. As you guys can see, we're only really producing 0.01 every maybe half a second or every second here, which I think we need about 3 or so, or sorry, 0.03 to make a supercharger. Actually, I can quickly check that right now. So it's a 0.07, actually we need to make one. Now I can get both of these refineries processing them if the other one isn't doing anything but the other one is actually doing cobalt right now which in itself also takes a lot of time. Now a few people have suggested making an arc furnace and the arc furnace doesn't necessarily work for the platinum at least I don't believe it does. I think it does work for the cobalt though so I might actually build one off maybe in the corner over here just so it's slightly out of the way or maybe even on top of on top of uh, this right here. This could work as well. Uh, so do we actually have enough resources to make that? I think we should. Just so, just in case it, it does process something, or just in case we do have something we need processed, we can utilize that as well. So I'm just gonna search for it. We have Arc Furnace, there we go. So let me uh, put this down here and just see where exactly I can drop it off where it can fit. So like here would be okay, given that I actually had the resources to stick it there. Um, and I think, I can't remember where the doors are necessarily on this, I think it's one there and one on this side here where that battery is, so it's not really essential to be put there. I could put it here-ish as well, I mean that could work, but I'd much rather keep it on the refinery side of things by putting it here. So I might just go ahead and do that, and just quickly get that done, it shouldn't be too long to get this, something such as this built. Uh, we're just going to quickly grab a few steel plates here, a few hundred I believe is what we'll need for that. A few of these, a few of that just by guessing here. A few of you, uh, what else do we need? Probably small steel tubes. Large steel tubes, a few computer pieces. Do we have computer pieces still? We should have a fair amount of it. We have four of them here. We have more than that, don't we? Yeah, there we go, that's 36 here. And my inventory is almost full. We'll grab a few large steel plates and probably need a display or so, but I'm not really uh, too worried about that right now. So we can just come over here and quickly weld it. We have everything we need, so uh, that is welded up very nicely. There we go, awesome. Uh, didn't need as much as I thought we did need. What exactly did we need out of all that that I had grabbed? Large steel, oh, so we didn't need the small steel tubes, so everything other than the small steel tubes was, uh, was good enough to guess. So we'll put all everything back now, and we are... Uh, we're all good to now start transferring resources over to the Arc Furnace. So what can be done from the refinery to the Arc Furnace? Can Platinum be done? No it cannot. Can Cobalt be done? Uh, yes it can. There you go, now Cobalt is going extremely quickly. We are processing some stone now. I know a lot of people won't like that. I'm going to put this in front of it though. I'll put this up here as well. And can Silver be done? Silver can't be done. Okay, and I think stone, no, not stone either. So we do have two resources that can be done over here, and they can be done a lot faster than what they were getting done over here, which is nice. So, that, that's cool. So yeah, now we are going through silver, which uh, is going rather quickly. And yeah, well, this, this, is just, this is nice. Everything seems to be running rather smoothly. Our power usage is nothing too bad. We still have seven hours here. We are using 17% with the two reactors that are in the station here. Nothing too overpowering, but... I think that eventually, I think I'm going to move out to the Somnus Gate, or the Somnus Station, uh, which I think is just called Somnus for the sake of keeping things easier. I think I need to rename these, just something that I can easily access. And see, this one here does teleport me right in front of the gate, so I think it is the fact that it's on a ship is making it a little bit funky. Uh, but anyway, this here is, seems like it would be a great place to make into some sort of refining station, or maybe just like a, a not so much a mining station. But I could have so many assemblers and refineries in here. I think, how high are refineries? I know I'm kind of just messing around right now, but I do I do want to check this out just to kind of ah, uh, it is a very it's very tall, too tall for this. Oh, uh, yeah, it, it's 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 one block high, but we can probably get rid of the roof or even extend the the ceiling up even higher than what it currently is. 
But um, what I'm saying is that we do have a lot of room here to work with. This place itself is rather large. And maybe once we've finally converted over to this place, we can might get rid of we might get rid of Primeus Portus. Oh, uh, Primeus, sorry. I don't really think it's necessary. I mean, it's not a bad station. It's just oh, that gate comes here. Sure. Um, this one's going to be now called Phoenix. I think having it just called Phoenix is going to make more sense than anything else. So this is going to be just be called Phoenix Gate. Uh, the other one is just going to be called Primetus, but we'll go there and we'll change that once we actually get there. So, I'm here now. Thank you for landing me on the button. I kind of wanted that. Uh, I'm going to name this one just Primetus. Again, just to make things a little easier. And now we're just going to go back to Phoenix. Like, I mean, we probably could jump between all of them, but... Um, I'll just, I'll just go this way. I always seem to spell Phoenix wrong. That's something I dislike. I, well, other than then, obviously, I got that right. But I always seem to get the I and the, sorry, the O and the E mixed up. Every, nearly every single time, I, that always happens. Anyway, I want to see what the maximum speed is of a large ship. So I'm going to accelerate here at uh, rapid speeds. Let's get this one thrust override all the way up. And that way, we should start increasing speeds uh, very rapidly. I thought the lights were dimming there, that was really weird, but everything seems to be rather fine. So we will be flying th past a few asteroids here and there, nothing too big. We did go check them out anyway, so we are we are good on time. I did need to make sure I'm not going to slip off because of the acceleration uh, that we are getting, like I'm currently seeing right now. I'm going to get back in my seat so I don't go anywhere funky. Anyway, I have liked this series so far. I do like the exploration element. It's, n it's just not tied down to a certain boring area we're actually going out and going to see new things which is i think is just really cool so our maximum speed is actually 264 so we're actually going to turn this off right now and just let us drift around so i think it's equal speeds for both the large ship and the small ship here i do something see something red over there though slow down I don't know if you guys can see that. It might just be another asteroid, but it might be... It's just like a little flicker, a little glimmer of something. I want to see what that is. Just right... right about there-ish. No, no, sorry, that, that right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, don't let that happen again. Let's disconnect. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's go, let's go over there now, real quickly. I just want to see what it was, because it kind of stood out to me. I don't know why it really stood out to me. But it, it did nonetheless, so we are going to go check this out, just just to see just to see if it is anything special. If not, it was a waste of time, but I don't think it is going to necessarily be that big of a waste of time. So again, there was nothing too special out there. I was really hoping that the little speckle of red would be something interesting, but it turns out it's just another interior of an asteroid, which I do hate that this game does seem to do a lot with asteroids, and that is loading the inside before loading the outside of it. Again, I really do dislike that, but nonetheless, that is what we came across, and it wasn't anything too special. So moving on from that, we are going to, again, fly further out throughout the galaxy here, and I do want to try this Stargate thing, in just a moment anyway before I end today's episode to see whether or not actually moving the Phoenix further away from both the Prometheus and the Somnus, whether or not it will increase the distance in which I am both taken into the Stargate and rejected out of said Stargate. 
So we are flying into uncharted area, or uncharted space actually, which is really nice. We've actually gotten so far away I cannot see the beacons or the antennas anymore of the two stations we have currently come across, which is uh, rather interesting. There is something down there. I don't want to go towards it and just kind of make myself all upset that it might just be a pile of gold. Uh, then again, gold isn't too bad, but I would much rather come across something, something I've never seen before. So uh, we are going to slow ourselves down and just head in this general direction, just ever so slightly, just so we can get a glimpse of whatever this gold thing is. Again, it's probably just likely a small asteroid, but nonetheless, I want to go see what it is. Now again, the ship isn't that great at decelerating in certain angles, as you can most likely tell, unless I decide to use a thruster, which, by the way, extends out far beyond my actual ship itself, which is interesting in itself and because we do take a little while to slow down here we are kind of drifting around whatever this is and it does appear to be again another asteroid fairly disappointing sadly I was really hoping to have come across something something interesting maybe there's some resources here I don't really think there's anything too special but uh, nonetheless it's nice that we at least got to see what it was up close just because well it could have been something oh well I think I'll just quickly test out the Stargates here before uh, before ending today's episode, just to see what exactly there is. And we do, again, take a little while to decelerate here, just because of our side thrusters. But anyway, uh, once, it, once we have stopped completely, I will decide to use the gate just once more, just to see. And here's the thrusters thrusting down again, just to kind of slow us down ever so slightly. Now again, before, I don't know what actually caused me to kind of glitch back on the platform when I was slowing down beforehand. Maybe it was just the game updating, but uh, I'm not entirely too sure. Anyway, let's use this target. I'm going to stand back as far as I can to try to activate this thing. Right, I had to rename it. My mistake. Uh, Primetus. There we go. Okay, and now let's do it again. And let's see when it decides to suck me in this time. If it's still around about the same spot as normal. No, a little bit further back than normal. That's strange. It seems like changing the name has actually fixed it slightly. That is awfully strange. Is this going to take me back to Phoenix Hitters? Okay. Let's try that again. Now that we've changed the names, it seems like it's a little bit more... It's better. That is strange. Maybe the longer name caused some weird... Issues, maybe? I haven't really encountered a bug like this before, but it seems like changing the name has actually helped me a bit. Anyway, I'm going to end today's episode here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We didn't really come across too much, and I do want to apologize for that, but there might be episodes like this in the future where we just simply don't come across too much. And I guess the question to you guys is, what should I do when there's episodes like this? I can't fast forward through the whole thing because it would be, well, boring and a lot of editing. But uh, I do want to, I just maybe, I'll commentate on other things. And again, I'll reiterate what I said in the other episode, and that is, if you guys want me to, I can start adding ships you guys want. Uh, that you guys create for this series. So if you guys want to create a Stargate themed vessel or a station and you want it to be in the series, submit it to me. Either my email address, which you can find on my about page. Just, just give me a link to your workshop item. I'll add it to the cargo ship spawns and hopefully I'll come across it sometime in this world. I think that's an alright idea to get more involved with you guys as well. Hopefully there won't be any penis ships because that would be very disappointing. I'll actually have to have a look through everything that is submitted to me before I consider add adding it to the series. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about that idea, whether or not I should incorporate other people's ships and stations and whatnot into the series. That way, because I am exploring, I think coming across things that other people have created would be kind of cool. Anyway, again, thank you guys for watching, and I see you guys next time. Stay awesome, everyone.